Hello and welcome back everyone. It is your girl Cassandra Olivia and today's video is sponsored by a company called Ali Grace. So in today's video, I'm just gonna show you the packaging and everything that they sent me. You guys already know how I get down. They sent me a 14 inch bob wig that is 180% density. Um, it is a closure unit and it is machine made. So all you have to do is worry about the closure and it has the three combs on the sides and then the adjustable strap in the back as always. And I'm just showing you guys how it's put together as well as showing you guys how the lace looks straight out of the packaging. Off rip, it looks super, super natural and I feel like I don't have to do too much. So I opted not to even bleach the knots because they look pretty good to me. And of course they sent me a wig cap as well as some information about their company. And I will be sure to drop all that information down below. So here I am just going in with some products and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm using because I realized in some videos you guys aren't able to catch on. So I figured I'd just show you here. And of course I will also link everything down below. But typically just for a closure wig, I'm just gonna use a couple simple things. And instead of me braiding my hair, I actually want to come on here and show you what I did today because I actually do have to do a hair straightening video in a couple days. So it didn't make sense for me to braid my hair just to take it out and straighten it. So I opted to just wear my natural fro up under this wig. She is 4C, 4B, 4A, whatever y'all want to categorize it as, and I'm just spraying it with some water, nothing more, nothing less, making sure it's nice and saturated so that way I can um, put it back into a ponytail to put my wig caps on. So I'm using two ponytail holders, and I'm literally just stretching the hair with my fingers to make it as long as possible, and then I'm gonna connect it into the ponytail, and then I'm actually going to band it and stretch the ponytail out, and then I'm going to flip the ponytail upwards, okay? So that way when I put my wig caps on, it will blend seamlessly and it will kind of give the effect that my hair is braided underneath. Now typically I wouldn't do this with normal installs, but because this is a bob wig unit, um, it doesn't really matter for this type of unit only because the back, it's going to give me a little bit of elevation, which is going to make the bob look even more precise. So just trust the process. It's going to look really crazy right now, but as soon as I'm done, you'll see how it's like a little bit elevated in the back and it gives it a little bit more of a realistic look so I thought this was perfect to do for this quick video and this quick tutorial so to keep my hair even more slick I am doing a double cap method so I use the cap that they provided in the packaging as well as the cap that I have and this unit is a 99 J aka like a burgundy color and I honestly have been wearing burgundy all week, so I was really feeling this unit. I just went to revisit a couple of my old burgundy units, and I got so much feedback, so I'm definitely gonna be rocking this to work this week, 100%. And if you wanna see more footage too, be sure to check out my Instagram story, and I'll be posting more videos and snippets of me with this unit on. So really quickly, I just went inside the back and adjusted the straps to my liking. I always try to put them on the same, um, like the same, straps every time I adjust my hair like every time I wear a wig I put it on the same setting let me let me rephrase that so I'm just going in here now this is how it looks first out of the packaging she's a little wavy it's giving Wendy's but I'm just going to go ahead and start to section the hair in the front to cut the lace and then I will go in press the hair first and then after I'm done pressing I'm gonna go in with my hot comb so you guys can watch what I'm doing here and if you have any questions you already know you can comment down below and just be sure that when you do this part, you take your time. So the lace is cut and she's looking good so far. I'm just using a rust flat iron that I actually hate to use, which is why it's at home because it, to me, it doesn't get hot enough. But for these purposes only because I did not feel like going back to my salon suite to get my actual irons. I'm just going in with these flat irons and just pressing the hair out. And I'm going to go over this hair about two or three times. So don't worry if it looks kind of bumpy, bulky. Do not worry. This is literally just a rough draft. And then I was kind of feeling this style that it came out in the beginning. So I added like a quick little snippet of where it was going with this. If this was a wig unit, this would have been so cute right here. But now I'm just going in and just going to press out the complete top of this hair. And again, when I'm done, I'm just going to go in with my um, hot comb just to hot comb the roots and make sure that everything is nice and sleek.
Ladies, just please make sure that when you're hot combing your units or your hair that you're being extra careful not to burn yourself or your forehead or hold it too long to where the heat is going to transfer through to your scalp because I actually did that in this video, but I'm so used to burning myself just being a stylist. I just kept it moving, but just want to make sure that you're being extra careful. So this is the part that I was talking about in the beginning with the graduation. You can kind of see how it's a little bit more elevated in the back to really give this bob that extra oomph because it is pretty blunt and I just wanted to show you guys really quickly how it looks. I just got a bob, get into it, yeah. Hop out with the chop, ah, get into it, yeah. Not a <laughs> That's what this was given. So now again, I'm going over this a million times. I even went over it like probably four or five more times off camera. You just wanna keep doing this until it is as flat and as straight as possible. And you know, just to your liking. I like my bobs to be really sleek and I like them to have movement. So here I am just showing you guys how it looks. I'm just moving out some of the hair in the front. For this unit, I opted not to do baby hair, but I did opt to use some Nairobi foam wrap just to get those flyaways that were on the top that I felt like I couldn't really tame with the hot comb and you can tie your hair down at this point I didn't really feel the need to only because I knew that I wasn't gonna keep this unit on super long today because it is really hot outside and I'm home but um, you can tie this down if you want it to be super super slick so I'm just showing you guys how this spot moves please drop a comment down below if you like this color on me and if you like this style you guys know I just cut my hair into a bob so I was really feeling this because my hair is a little bit shorter than this bob right now I believe so I was really feeling this short hair is definitely in for me right now and I hope you guys like this video and I appreciate everybody for watching and I hope everybody has a wonderful and productive day. Bye.